Welcome to the Game Ramble first look video for Paradise Lost. My name is Dark Cloud and I'm joined by Mrs. Cloud or Numbi. So first off, as always, let's take a look at the settings for this game. You can set a variety of gameplay options like camera sensitivity, controller settings and so on. It also has the audio options and then graphical options for things like HDR, V-Sync, dynamic resolution and then the graphics quality. See so everything is set to very high. I keep it that way, and we can start with the game. Cool. So it's uh, developed by Polyamorous and published by All In Games, and it was released in March. So I don't know a lot about this game, but I do know that you play as a twelve-year-old boy who was raised in a post-apocalyptic wasteland and he finds an abandoned Nazi bunker while wandering the barren nuclear wasteland of Poland. So the game is basically set in an alternate reality where World War II didn't have any victories. The Nazis just basically launched nuclear missiles at Europe. Okay, interesting. Yeah, it's an interesting premise for a game. And exploring a Nazi bunker sounds quite creepy. Hmm. Very different from Fallout. Yeah, the whole point of Fallout is to get out of the bunker and into the wasteland. Here it seems to be the reverse. Mm. So it looks like uh, Poland is somewhat cold. Very snowy. I don't know about you, but this uh, audio is making me shiver. <laughs> yeah. I feel the cold. Where is that bonfire or something? Some debris from the war, it seems. A lot of tanks. Detail is quite cool. Well, it's still a cutscene, so. Oh. Don't have control over the game yet. John Milton. It's a nice Easter egg, I suppose, for the literature fans. They'll know that John Milton is the English poet who actually wrote the poem Paradise Lost, which is all about the fall of mankind, Adam and Eve, and the Garden of Eden, and all of that. Okay. So we have a teddy bear. So clearly that was someone's treasured belongings now lying out in the snow. Opted for a very slow-paced and moody intro to the game. I think it sets the tone for what's to come. Really get that feeling of loneliness and desolation. Footsteps in the snow, footprints. Probably our protagonist, denial. So we're starting with five stages of grieving here. Okay, so it looks like we've gained access to the bunker. The movement is typical WASD, and then we can look around with the mouse. So you can see our character's body as well. Okay, that is a very dark bunker and I don't see a light switch. It looks like we do have some light switch at least. Lighter. There you go. Yeah, Pach Sinku. I'm scared of the dark too. So trigger the flashback. This is how we fight it. See? <laughs> And now mom is going to make it all warm and cozy and you tidy up your toys, okay? It's the mother of... It'll be warm in no time. Nobody likes when it's cold, right? It's Maybe kidding. when you're big and strong the winter will go away. What do you think? Yeah, that's what I thought. There's no way of knowing. We just have to take it day by day. 
can't be easy raising a child in a post-apocalyptic well, future. I, I don't say it enough. You think I'm boring, hmm? But that's what being a mom is all about. Being boring. Time to sleep, little one. No matter Looks how like dark a... the night, the new day sun will rise. I'm in there. Protagonist was a very quiet baby, at least. Mm. And now back to the bunker, I suppose. And they gave me the nice crackling fire. Let's say this lighter is not supplying a whole lot of light. Mm -mm. So if anything jumps out at me now. I apologize in advance to anyone's ears. <laughs> I don't think there should be too many things alive inside war torn Nazi bunkers. I hope not. So here we have the entrance to the bunker, some administrative office or something. We can interact with the paperwork. I'm afraid morale is going is continuing to decline. Some of the men are getting restless. I suspect some of them have realized that their Uber lieutenant knows as little as they do. I understand that our mission is top secret, but we are possibly the best equipped unit in the entire German army, and our purpose still remains a mystery to us. We are, we are set on a veritable mountain of rifles, mortars, grenades, missiles, Geiger counters, and state-of-the-art machinery that has never been tested. We even have a cutting-edge communication system, yet no sign of incoming transmissions. When will we take the fight to the enemy? It was in 1960. So this German squad was just holed up in this bunker waiting for a fight. It looks like it never came, or did it? Hmm. They going quite restless, it seems. Paperwork here. I was dispatched to level 00 at 942 to patrol hatch 061B, the northernmost entrance to the shelter. Upon arrival at the shelter door, I observed, as usual, that nothing had changed. The door was sealed, and I again encountered zero trespassers. That concludes my daily report, which, of course, no one ever bothers to read. Poor Ober Grenadier, we've at least read your report, <laughs> so you can rest in peace now. Nothing hiding in any of the dark corners, thankfully. Just hope that this light here does not have limited... Yes, and... That would be... Unpleasant. It runs out in these light conditions. Mm. Still no sign of a light switch anywhere. And the wind is also very spooky. Yeah. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna have to squeeze in here, aren't I? No. Yep. No, I the Whenever I now. do stuff like this in games, I get flashbacks to Condemned. Mm. Which also had uh, rooms with these shelves and then. Yeah. Okay, another flashback. What was that? What Can't happened? Is everything okay. alright? So I can select it's nothing or it fell. Let's be honest. It's the roger, mom. It fell. Is it broken? We can't take the generator without it. Don't worry. We should have a spare one somewhere. So that's a photo Mom? of his mother. Who's this? Strange man. It's no one. Do you understand? It's mm. no one. She doesn't want you to know who that person is. Clearly. So that could be the reason why he has come to this bunker to find out more about his mother. Mm. Okay, there's some light or something in here. I 
be glad to get out of this darkness. There's a so light there, must be a light switch, right? Yep, mm -hmm. I'm heading to that light like a moth to a flame. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to interact, move the circle towards the shape. So <gasps> yes. mm -hmm. Shock yourself now. And now I have triggered an alarm. Mm -hmm. Guess we'll soon see if there's anything else in these bunkers. Okay, my German is not very good. Which one says, uh, shut up the alarm? <laughs> I think the bottom one. Yay, we did it. <laughs> alarm is down. Lights are on. And this bunker is massive. All kinds of weird electronics in there. Mm, coffee. I don't think that's drinkable anymore. <laughs> and it looks like we are going down. Press the button. So this bunker looks very really cold. Mm -hmm. Looks like I'm wearing a jacket or something at least. levers that are slightly too high for a little child. Yeah, I think it drives on the point that your character is a 12 year old and not a fully grown adult. Yeah. It gives the world a different perspective as well. Yeah, it's quite cool. Also the effort that it takes to pull levers. Oh, you see that? That's uh -huh. the symbol that was on that photo. Ah. His mother. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. But this is zero zero, that one zero four. Yeah. So is that zero four a different sub level of this massive bunker? Could be a waste if you came all this way and it's the wrong bunker. Hmm. So you're very prepared for something happening in this bunker. Hmm. All these turrets and infringements and things everywhere. Reminds me a bit of uh, Zombie army. Yeah, definitely. So that means I keep expecting some zombie to pop up somewhere and grab me. <laughs> now you don't have a sniper on you. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> I feel very defenseless. Although I think a sniper rifle would probably be bigger than a 12 year old. <laughs> Am I gonna have to jump down here? Yeah. That hardly seems safe. Yeah. How do I get back? <laughs> okay, no way back it seems. On the trudge through the snow. <laughs> Even climbing train steps is a it's challenge good. for a child. On through the spooky train carriage we go. Mm. I can't say it's much better than the bunker. It's nah. spooky. Okay, I've gone through that. So the game is very quiet, there's no eerie music or anything playing, they really let you so up the ambience, mm -hmm. which makes it even spookier, I think. Yeah, I agree. Music can sometimes ruin it a little bit. Dear Grandma, you won't believe who's on the train with me. Greta Muller, you were just playing a record to me. She's so elegant. I wish I could talk to her, but she has her own car and no one's allowed inside. There's also a cartoonist from that newspaper you always read. He even drew a picture of the Fuhrer for me, but I think you make Goering look a little slimmer than he really is. It's an honor to be on the same train as so many talented people. I'm so sorry that I didn't get to say goodbye. They came when you were away and were so impatient and rude. Nothing like I imagined they'd be. 
but at least I promised to deliver this goodbye later. I hope this finds you well. I love you, Adela. So they never delivered the letter, it seems. Nope. I think these are all the people that were conscripted into the army. Oh, well, they went to the bunker to hide out. Yeah, I'm still not sure what type of bunker this is. Was a, were there any civilians in here or was it really military? It sounds like they took all the talented people and put them on the train. Because if you look at the train, these are personal belongings and stuff on here. It's not like soldiers. Mm -mm. To all colonists. You are advised that only one suitcase per person will be allowed in Geshelf's shaft. All additional belongings will be disposed of upon arrival. This rule will be enforced by the SS race and settlement main office. There will be no exceptions. Colonists. So they That's interesting. So they specifically brought people down here to live. Hmm. And you know, this is after they launched their nukes and knew that the surface would be uninhabitable. Okay, so I create a new world, destroy the old one or something. Interesting why I can pick up a porcelain cup. Hmm. Okay. Looks like there's a run button, but I'm only marginally past if I press it. Some more suitcases to rifle through. <laughs> I was just thinking, going through so many strangers' personal I'm stuff. I'm leaving, do you hear me? And you're not going to stop me! Oh dear. I don't want to spend my whole life here. Mama? Mama, are you okay? Mama, sure? Oh, wow. So, what's going on there with his mom? It looks like she passed away, which would explain the denial stage hmm. that he's currently in. Let's take a look at this later. Mr. Bachhuber, I'm writing to you because I have a favor to ask. I understand that it's no longer my place to intervene since all of my worldly assets are now legally yours, but I hope you will grant me this final favor in any case. I'm sure that the first thing you are planning to do is cut down that beech tree stood in the yard. However, a family of blackbirds has built a nest there. Please make sure to relocate the nest before cutting down the tree. P.S. Next time I should remember to buy a train ticket from someone who somewhat re resembles me. We look nothing alike, not to mention your passport photograph. Alas, you were the only person I know of in all of Bavaria who, who was granted this ticket. That's interesting. So specific people were gr granted tickets to come here. Hmm. And some of them appears to have sold or traded theirs. Yeah. What on earth is that? Looks like an uh, ink pot. It's a bit tricky to orient the character to pick things up. You need to be in the exact spot for the cursor to change, like there. Ah, spiritus. So that's some type of alcohol. Interesting. Hmm. So I can rotate it around in my hand instead of a free floating 3D object. Going down again <laughs> on those steps. I wonder how deep down this bunker facility goes because this is just the entrance area of the trains and everything. Mm. What's even more eerie is like there is no other signs of life. Clearly, a lot of people came here, but where are they? Yeah, it's like really, really strange and eerie atmosphere. The question is will we find the answers? To all of these questions. Hmm. I think we should call it a day here, leave some mystery for the viewers to find out themselves when they play the game. Like I said, it is out now, we'll put the links in the description where it can be bought, but it's out on Steam and GOG and those places. Thanks for joining us. Bye!